Coming up on this week's episode of Press This, we have another round of listener questions. Hey everyone, welcome to another amazing episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. We want to hit 50 million subscribers. No, yes. we want to hit 10,000. We're at almost 4,000. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you love WordPress stuff, uh, plugins, themes, concepts, things like that. Head to head, some witty banter, some information. So we uh, talk about on this show. That's what we do. It's brought to do. you by Slocum Themes. That's right. SlocumThemes.com, home of the newest theme in our repository, Journal Pro. Really great for uh, bloggers, photo bloggers. Um, it's just a really, really simple interface. Fixed sidebar. I really like it. I think it's really cool. Check yeah. it out. Yeah, amazing for blogging. Uh, and actually, 100,000 downloads in the WordPress yeah. repository. Pretty cool. Not the biggest number in the world, but we're proud of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, hey, what are we going to talk about today? Listener questions. You guys love the listener questions topics. So you guys are always sending us in qu listener questions, which always helps. I uh, apologize for my poor grammar there. Uh, you're going to say inquisitions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so let's let's kind of jump into a couple of these, answer them. Um, once again, a lot of our questions have to do with membership plugins, e-commerce, things like that. Uh, slider stuff like that. So first one we have is from Wendy. I have a topic I'd love you to cover. I am setting up a member plugin on my site for an online coaching program. I need to drip content based on when the program starts versus when the client registers. Thanks, Wendy. So I mean, the answer for that is drip feeds, drip content. There are um, drip content plugins out there or membership plugins that tap into drip content. And what that basically means is I, Mr. User, sign up today. And then the system automatically knows 30 days from now, time to post this piece of content. You set that stuff up, but it is an option for you and it's really cool. Right. And I actually think you did a uh, SEO lunch on that. I, I did. I did. I see a lunch on it. And we've also covered membership plugins That's before right. where we talk about drip content. And that was a big, big thing of ours. Right. So the one that we use uh, more often than not is Paid Memberships mm -hmm. Pro. Um, and that has an add-on uh, to that, which uh, I believe the add-on is free. Uh, and it'll automatically so, start yeah. doing that, uh, that drip content based on when they signed up. Uh, they signed up today. You set it to send out this give them access to this post uh, in seven days mm -hmm. uh, and then they get access to it. And then we had other plugins we talked about before too, like Magic Members, which worked really well for that yep. as well. So. Yep. Uh, so check that out. If you have any other questions, mm -hmm. let us know uh, in the comments below. Yo123789, uh, username. Are there any plugins you guys can recommend for turning a site into a membership forum site that's highly customizable and fairly inexpensive? <laughs> It's a loaded question, Matt. Let's look up to the last answer we just had. Yeah, no. uh, again, we recommend Paid Memberships Pro only because we work with it so often and we also helped uh, contribute some code mm -hmm. uh, to the core of Paid Memberships Pro and specifically help build uh, the add-on which connects Paid Memberships Pro to BB Press. Yeah. Uh, so you can say this membership level is uh, going to get access to this forum on BB Press. Right. Uh, one forum, many forums, that kind of thing. Uh, and there's your perfect answer. Uh, Paid Memberships Pro is free uh, to download and install. BB Press is free to download and install. Yeah. And they're effective. They're clean. That's why we work, chose to work with them. I mean, they're they're just a really really good uh, platform to work with um, for membership sites. Yeah. So check that out. Uh, again, there's many ways to slice and dice things. Uh, a lot of the membership site uh, plugins have uh, connectors to <laughs> BB Press. I know specifically Restrict Content yes. uh, from Pippin yep. uh, also does that. And that's another great, uh, another great plugin. Going to use. You're going uh, to have to pay the 30 bucks to get it, but well worth it. Yeah. Um, great author and great yep. support. Make one there. sale, you covered it, right? Yep. Um, uh, and one thing I will say is if you need help with any membership stuff on our uh, Slocum Studio page, which again, you can click over there and view it, there actually is a whole uh, channel we have or a whole playlist we have just for membership stuff. So you can take a look at it right there. There you go. It's easy as that. Lamiju. I hope I said that uh, correctly. Hi, I watched your video on sliders. I'm new to WordPress and setting up a site learning as I go. I want to incorporate a slider on my post pages. and I'd like a really nice, clean, simple look. I'm deciding between Soliloquy and Slider Pro. I'm more concerned with the finished look than anything else. And the only thing holding me back from Soliloquy is I haven't seen any really nice looks apart from in our videos. Aw, thanks. Also, it seems Slider Pro has a lot more options when it comes to design. The ability to go on full screen mode. I basically want a large frameless slider with simple wide arrows and if possible page numbers, which is best for this. Many thanks if you read this. No problem, Miju. Uh, so we use Soliloquy quite often. Um, we kind of really like that solution. We actually just uh, episode or two ago talked about um, that and the same gentleman makes in Vera and how simple it is to use. Um, 
But uh, with Soliloquy Pro, you do get um, an easy to use widget where you can just put a slider uh, right inside of um, different pieces of content, including our themes. Uh, and you can post Soliloquy sliders right inside of your post as well. So yeah, we like it for that reason. Yeah, the, um, you know, I, I think that it's sort of an interesting question. Like not many people come to us saying, I'm looking for a really good looking slider. Yeah. Um, because my thoughts are you don't even want to see the slider. You want to see the content in the in slider. The slider right? yeah. So if you're going to have amazing photos in the slider, you're right. not going to see the dials or the arrows. Right. At least in my in my mind. <laughs> right. Um, I agree with that. Slide Deck 2 is probably the only other one that I know of that actually yeah. pays some design attention to yes. the actual look and feel of the slider. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's another one to look at. We also looked at that works with our themes as well. Both Soliloquy and Slide Deck uh, are compatible with our themes. Um, and Hey, again, I can't stress it enough. You're never going to get everything you're looking for out of a plugin because whatever you're looking for, someone else isn't just know that if you're picking a good plugin with good authorship, good support, you can probably go in with some CSS chops or or hire somebody fairly inexpensively to spend an hour or two uh, to modify this right. uh, this slider to, to look the way it's supposed right. to. I mean, if it's if it's a client site again, or you're making money with this site, what's a little what's a little investment uh, to make it look exactly the way right. you want instead of trying to do everything the free way? You know right. what I'm saying? I agree. I, you know I know what you're saying. saying. Dog. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Mir Sharik. <laughs> Hello. Oh, go ahead. Can you? Did I say that right? I think so. Yeah. Hello, can you pl- can you please which software is the best to start an email marketing company? Well, interesting mm. question. Yeah, that is an in- interesting question. Um, we assume you mean to open up a, create a software or you're looking for a software to market a software, I think here. Um, so I'm not quite positive here. Um, if you're looking for like which email marketing software to use, in your company where you like sell it or consult on it. Um, we really like MailChimp quite a bit. Um, it also integrates really nicely with other plugins we've found in the past. We've set up sites with um, Gravity Forms um, that work with that. Um, and there are other options too with Constant Contact. We can download extensions to that as well. Yeah. The uh, And I guess if you're actually trying to make a company that competes against MailChimp, yeah. <laughs> that's going to be an interesting endeavor. Mm-hmm. WordPress probably isn't the, what you need, yeah. uh, although you can certainly run your front, your forward-facing website in marketing right. with WordPress. Um, if you're trying to learn how to do email marketing for clients, then yes, MailChimp would be great. If you're trying to build your own kind of custom thing, you probably could use WordPress plus uh, MailChimp's other product um, called Mandrill, which yes. sends is just for sending email. It, 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 you don't, there's no editor on it where you can create the email. That's what MailChimp is right. for. But you could tie in some kind of code to send email through the Mandrill service that actually helps deliver the email uh, spam-free and, and through all the different carriers of, of right. the internet. Both really great services and fantastic software. Yeah. So if you're looking for that information, that's what we'd go with. Again, it integrates really nicely with other WordPress plugins so people can contact you or, and subscribe to you and you can send them out information, which is great. I think that's about it, right, Dan? I think that questions does, just about does it. This week or month. Hey, if you want to leave us uh, some questions, go ahead and leave a comment on any of our videos. I think we get it <laughs> notified in we our do. mailbox. Yeah, we can yeah. definitely see the comments. Yep. Pull them into the show. If you've got your burning question, do let us know in any of the comments below. Tell your friends if this is going to be helpful for them as well. They're running their WordPress website or they got questions about WordPress. Mm-hmm. Uh, Slocum Studio uh, or YouTube.com slash Slocum Studio. You can find all of our great videos there, slocumthemes.com. Of course, if you're looking uh, for some of the most professional WordPress themes, that's the place to be, supported by none other than these two guys, uh, if that makes you feel any better. 10,000 fans is where we want to hit, hit in the subscription button. Go ahead and hit that. We'll see you next time. See you next time.